policewoman accidentally seized tons of flour. She didn't turn the flour over to the police. Instead, she moved it all quietly into her own warehouse. She was going to use the flour to make a fortune. The woman worked as an interpreter at the police station. She worked with Middle Eastern drug dealers and knew how to commit crimes and how to get rid of stolen goods. She turned to the second doh hand market and bought more than 10 cell phones and a money checking machine. These would become the tools of her trade. She then used her position to bring home the drug, dealers wiretaps and ironed them while looking for a buyer. She found two buyers who were in short supply. The drug dealer, Mr. White, was looking around for a source when he suddenly received a sales text from patients. Pure natural high quality flour, no additives, no pollution, no technology and no hard work, limited time promotion, large quantity discount. Old by took a look at the instant interest. Immediately unbelievable to patients back to the phone. In order to complete the transaction, patients did all the preparation. She spent a huge amount of money to buy a set of ropes from the internet. According to the Arab aristocratic circle of dress began to pack their own. Hijab wrapped. Sunglasses to wear. The moment patients got out of the car, she completely shattered the pride of the two drug dealers. The first time the three met, Patience brought a kilogram of flour as a sample for inspection. With her fluent Arabic and her Middle Eastern wealth, the two small-time dealers were bluffed into a respectful silence. Patience said that if he thought it was good, he would cooperate with them for a long time, and they could enjoy a 20% discount if they bought 50 kilograms at a time. The more you buy, the bigger the discount. Old Bai and the bearded man were dumbfounded, feeling that Patience had more flour than sand in her hand. Before leaving, Patience explained that they must use Arabic to avoid being monitored by the police. After the operation, they were sure that Patience was a reliable woman. When they went back to inspect the goods, they were surprised to find that the goods Patience had brought them were high-end, high-quality, high-class. They were so happy that they called and ordered 100 kilograms. Patience was so happy that she doubled her KPIs on her first sale and sold a huge bag of flour. Patience knew that the most dangerous place is the safest place. She set up the deal in a parking lot near the prison. Old Bai is scared of the location, but when he sees Patience's calm demeanor, he can't give in. Patience opens the bill checker and counts the money. The drug dealer opens the bag to inspect the goods and finds an extra bag of flour. The honest white man was about to give it back to Patience, but Patience said it was a small gift to show her appreciation for the opening of the new store. At that moment, a police car suddenly passed by. Old Bai was so scared that he zipped up his zipper and was ready to run away. He didn't expect to see patients looking up and greeting the police enthusiastically. The two of them were completely dumbfounded. Patience's power is not to be underestimated. He almost shouted, Rich bitch, I don't want to work any harder. Patience low prized. High quality flour was quickly sold and made a million euros in just one week. As Patience's reputation grew, the police learned of the recent emergence of a wealthy Middle Eastern female drug lord. A policewoman used her job to steal two tons of flour from a crime syndicate. She stole two tons of flour from the cartel. She sold it all over Paris. The police learned that there was a new drug lord on the scene. Patients didn't realize there was a mole in the department. The commissioner asked her why she hadn't intercepted the female drug lord. Patience plays it cool and covers herself by saying that she doesn't speak Arabic and doesn't understand a word she's saying. Patience is trying to sell a few more pounds of flour today while she's trying to fool the commissioner. The chief's words also cause Patience to be cautious. Patience realizes that his phone call with a drug dealer has attracted the attention of the police. So he informs White to be very careful. Patience then developed a new way of selling drugs. She puts flour in her grocery bag and locks it in a supermarket locker. She then taped the key to the locker to a box of bread and hid it in a shelf, avoiding the supermarket surveillance. The old white man on the street followed Patience's instructions to remove the cabinet key, then placed the bills from the transaction where the key was taped, and finally removed the flour with just a little bit of trading. Patience was still making a fortune. In order to confuse her co-workers, Patience talked a lot at the police station every day and escaped arrest several times. But she was still worried that the money in her hand would attract the police's attention. So she planned to launder all the cash in her possession. Patience talked to her Chinese landlord and told him that she wanted to buy a house and pay for it in full. But the Chinese landlord didn't get confused at all and directly pointed out Patience's intention. Is it just money laundering? I can help you get rid of it, but I have to take 30% of the commission. Patience agreed quickly. The wind is getting tighter and tighter, and Patience is getting more and more cautious. She no longer dares to arrange deals with drug dealers over the phone. 
but negotiates delivery methods in the game. But the drug dealer was an idiot, and she inadvertently leaked the deal, unbeknownst to her. Patience arrives at the delivery point and is immediately followed by the police. Patience was so shocked that she rushed out the back door of the mall. Wearing her leopard print scarf, she dragged a bag full of flour into the crowded street. Cassius hurriedly changed her place of business to the entrance of the clock tower. But despite her secrecy, police caught her on surveillance. The police immediately dispatched more than 10 officers to arrest him. By this time, Cassius had already left the crime scene in a cab. This was a disappointment to the police, since the surveillance camera never caught Cassius' face. The police had to do something else. In fact, during Cassius' departure, Something unexpected happened to her. How does a woman become a rich woman? Let's see how this policewoman did it. Driven by the power of money, Patience embezzled tons of flour from the cartel. The flour made her a lot of money. Just as Patience was leaving, she was nearly knocked down by an errant passerby. The money bag in her hand fell to the ground. The money was scattered like a splash of running water. Patience turns around to see the chief of police and his officers searching for drug dealers. Patience gets into a cab and leaves the scene. Unable to recoup his losses, Patience escapes the police search, but is again targeted by the syndicate that lost the flower. The cartel was about to hijack Patience to get their flower back. The drug dealers were looking for a quiet place to settle the score, but Patience had already spotted them. She didn't panic and stopped a police patrol. She told them that a pervert was three blocks behind her. Seeing the situation, the drug dealer ran for his life. Now the cops on the beat have something to do. Patience had a narrow escape from the two men chasing her, but she realized the danger wasn't over, so she took out a nail gun for protection. A few days later, the landlord invited Patience to his son's wedding. The drug dealer stopped by and prepared a pot of greenery as a congratulatory gift. Unbeknownst to her, they hid their guns in the pots, rode the elevator to the wedding party, and pulled out their guns to take control of the scene. Patience realizes that they are targeting her and rushes to pull out a nail gun as well. While she was confronting the criminals, a couple of kids light a string of firecrackers. The crackling sound attracts the drug dealer's attention. The landlord's bodyguard took the opportunity to kill the two unexpected guests. Patience was shocked at the bloody scene. However, the landlord stood up calmly and ordered his men to clean up the scene. Patience then realized that the Chinese landlord in front of her was the real big shot. Just as everyone was getting excited about the wedding, Patience received a call from the hospital informing her that her mother had passed away. At that moment, Patience's heart went cold. The only reason Patience went to such desperate lengths was so that her mother could live to good days in her lifetime. With her mother gone, Patience realized that she had lost her purpose. Money's no longer important to her. The old woman's greatest wish in life was to visit a luxury store. Patience scattered her ashes in the mall to fulfill her last wish. After sending her mother away, Patience didn't want to do anything else and put the rest of the flower back where it belonged. She quit her job at the police station. Patience thought she'd done everything right, but she didn't realize that there were already eyes on her. The commissioner recognized Patience's figure on the surveillance camera, a figure he knew all too well. He used to like to warn the beds of his female subordinates when he had nothing else to do. The director thought long and hard about it, but he didn't expose Patience and used his clearance to delete the surveillance video. He let Patience take the two small goals. He'd earned and go off to live a life, facing the sea and the flowers. This is the movie La Darren by Jean Paul Salome. There may be opportunities in life to take shortcuts, but it's important not to take them for so long that you forget that the right path is the right one. A lot of people take shortcuts, and then they don't take the right path anymore. If you watch this film as a comedy, it may not be a laugh out loud slasher, but if you watch it as a drama, then you will be impressed with the humor and amazing things that the two older women do.